Hello, I'm Samuel Penn, also known as Not a Snark, and I'm the author of the Mongoose Traveller 2E system for Boundary Virtual Tabletop. In this video, I'm going to take a look at how we roll characters um, for Foundry and taking a look at some of the new features that have been added since I last covered this topic a few months back. So let's start with a new character. This is a traveler, so designed for player characters. We have a set of characteristics, which will generally default to seven. So um, normally when you roll characteristics in traveler, you roll 2d6. So we can roll 2d6. Um, and then we can go around and set each of these individually. Doing it this manually for each one is a bit tedious. So there's a nice shortcut which has existed since the start, um, slash UPP, um, which will generate you a universal personality profile. Um, and that generates six pairs of 2D6. So, and we can drag that up there and it will automatically set all your characteristics. If you don't like the order of them, you can drag them around like that or of course you can change them manually if you wish to. The characteristics that were dragged onto the character sheet are output to the chat. By default they go to the game master. If we take a look under settings. Um, there are some configurables here to say who these messages are broadcast to. For um, players, by default, it goes to yourself and the GM. You can set it to be private or to go to everyone if you want. And for the GM, they can either set it to be private or to everyone. Since I'm the GM, this is just going directly to me. Um, yeah, so if you don't like the characteristics that have been generated, you can re-roll them again if you wish. If your GM is particularly generous, then maybe they will allow you to roll multiple um, sets of the dice and take the best ones. So if we say UPP2, that will actually roll, make two extra rolls, so a total of eight, and then take the um, best six. Now, if we look at the settings for a character, uh, we've got an options here for adding in other characteristics. So let's say we have luck and sanity for our character. Um, when you roll slash UPP, uh, which is surprisingly average there, you drag it up, it, it won't set these. UPP will only set the default six characteristics. So even if you don't have um, so some of these characteristics switched on, such as if you're on Aslan or uh, Vargo and you've got territory or charisma instead of sulk, it won't, it won't set. So we have a new way of generating characteristics, which is this little icon here. If you click this, well, if you mouse over it, it will tell you that you can reroll characteristics, um, shift for av average or control for vary. So we'll just click on it for now. And we can see it will reroll all the characteristics um, defined on your character sheet. And the out output of those stats will again go to the chat window and it will show you what was rolled for each one, um, in this case 2d6, and what the result was. Now, if you don't like those, you can reroll them or you can drag them around as, as you could before. If you want a more average set of roles, such as if you're the GM, and actually I'm going to switch off luck and sanity in this case. Um, if you want a more average set of roles, you can hold down shift. And when you click back, you will get something which is more likely to be average. So you're not going to get an NPC with very high stats or very low stats. It's still possible. Um, what it's actually doing behind the scenes is rolling each characteristic five times and taking the middle one. So if you're going to on 
in general get a more average set of characteristics. Um, the other option is to control click on these, um, in which case, see, that's made no effect. Um, try it again, it keeps giving us minus one to edge you. So it's basically giving us a modification between minus two and plus two. What's the point of this? Well, you might, again, this is for the GM, you might have some NPC templates and you want to slightly modify them. If you've got tokens um, based on a single NPC character, so we've got a set of three different tokens here, we could click on each one. We can see in the chat we've got sort of plus ones minus ones coming through we've got a plus two there on int um, so we've got a set of characters who are all well not necessarily all but generally a bit more unique than just being cookie cutter um, templates of each other now this icon um, it's easy to accidentally click on. It's also easy to sort of accidentally go that when you're meant to be clicking on something and you drag it instead. So once you've finished with character generation, you can go down to settings, click lock UPP, and that icon goes away. You can no longer drag your characteristics around. So it sets it. Um, you can still modify them if you want to, and you can still drag UPP um, results up to here and to change them that way if you want to. So they're the standard ways of setting a character. But there's another way as well um, by using the packages. So if we have a look, at, so let's say, let's create one from scratch. So let's create a package and let's say we'll create an Aslan package. So when you create a package um, this provides skills and characteristic modifiers. Um, they're generally for use using the um, companion character generation system um, but we can use them in a bit more flexible way if we want to. So if we click racial package this changes these to be actual what we roll, so they default to 2d6. We put in 2d6 plus 2 for that, 6 minus 2 to the dex. Let's go to settings, let's add poetry, switch off salt. Poetry starts at 0, I think, if you've got natural Aslan. So now we've got an Aslan package. If we uh, see, that's just for demo. Let's just um, change height and weight as well. Why not? Um, we take our Aslan package, and drag it up here. We can see that these characteristics will automatically get rolled. And again, we broadcast to the chat to say what the results were. Um, We've got um, strength of nine, dex of five, etc., and it's actually rolled uh, um, the characteristic um, dice patterns which were set on that package. Um, and it will also generate a random height and weight for that character based on what their strength and endurance and dex are. Um, if we go back to here and switch off lock UPP. And if we re-roll those, this will actually remember what characteristics were used when generating this character. Um, and it will re allow you to re-roll these characteristics using uh, those dice modifiers if, if you want to. Um, packages can be used in another way. So let's generate another one. Um, let's create a maybe a street package so again um, racial package doesn't necessarily mean it's a racial package it could be um, a sort of background so let's leave strength x end alone um, 
say someone coming from a street, maybe there's only um, 2d3 for that. Actually, actually, for education, let's roll 3d6 equals 2. So you can put in your full set of dice patterns there. So when we take our straight and roll it up to We don't want that. Um, we pop back to there. Let's put him up there. <coughs> right. And we can see that we rolled 2d3 for SOP. Um, well, 3d6, keeping the lowest two for education and kept the others the same. And we can set these to be whatever we want. So maybe. what modifies we can and then when, when we drag them on they'll they'll set those as as before um, you can also do if you want um use this from pcs you might want to use something like 2d3 plus uh what's that going to be um going to be Two, two, four, three. So that's going to be two D three plus three to give an average result. Minus one there. That's going to give them slightly lower endurance. And okay. Um, from the stats we can see we roll are going to roll slightly more average set of characteristics and with lower um, guaranteed lower values for SOC and probably I mean it's got quite a good issue here but um yeah so you can build up NPC templates if you want to be able to generate NPCs with particular backgrounds um quickly and of course this being package um We can put in skills in here if we want to. Um, and then we take a look at that. We can show trained only to make it a bit more obvious. <coughs> it will also set skills on there as well. You can also provide um, career packages. So if you want them to automatically have a career, uh, it will set those and increase their age as well when you do that but that's um, a topic for another time when I take a look at these um, packages in detail but um, these are the different ways in which you can roll out ca um, characteristics for new characters um, there's a number of different options and hopefully they make things a bit quicker for both players who are ge generating new player characters and also for GMs, if you want to quickly build NPCs um, for, the, for the players to interact with. Okay, thank you very much, and um, thank you for listening.